Good morning everybody and hello and welcome to my humble abode once again. Today I'd like to do two things really. Well, the first one is to show you some of the um, storage drawers which I've been playing with a little bit. And they're downstairs in the uh, sort of the demo room. Let's go down there. At the moment it's the de demo room but I'm probably going to do some applied energetics in here. What you can see here is I've set up some different storage drawers. So here we have a compacting drawer. Here we have a drawer controller. That's a slave, I think. Here we have some drawers. And here we have a chest. So if I put something in this chest, for example, what have I got? Let's take some... I think I really want the cobblestone, don't I? What I'll do here first... Oh no, it's the wrong type of server. I was hoping not to ship everything down through here. Let's take some of this cobblestone out of here. Shift. And I put it in here. And what we'll find is it will go out of this chest into here. And as you can see, the number of cobblestones here is increasing each time by about four. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a different uh, servo for that. It would be better to have a, one of the higher servers where I can control the, the mod that I want to get out of here. So, so look, probably the reinforced server is probably good enough for that. Jump over the cables. Right, what I want to do is I want to remove this one here, which I'll just do with a right clip. Oops, shift right. Oh, right one, get the right one. There we are. And then now I'll put on the reinforced server underneath the bed. I'll sleep in back. And then what I want to do here is I want to uh, have the mod owner, but I want to blacklist the mod owner. So the, the mod owner I want to blacklist, in fact, is going to be the um, storage drawers mod list. Let's just take one of these, doesn't matter which one to take and blacklist the server storage upgrades so anything from the storage mod will be blacklisted in fact i can also blacklist thermodynamics i don't need that one to be done either so let's just blacklist that one as well right what else have i got in here ah, i've got the slave here all right i need to move that about a bit so what happens is, when you activate this, let's turn it on, items will come out of here that actually go into one of these chests. So I can either have never netherrack or cobblestone. Now if I can remove this item, which is the drawer controller, what do I have to use for that? I don't think it'll work with this one. I have to use a pickaxe. I can use the it's very very hard it's very fast uh, probably too fast for what I'm trying to do so let's just use this one and put in here the draw controller that's the slave the slave what the slave does is it extends the range of the draw controller so here now you'll see items coming through and what it's doing is it's moving all of the items out of here that you can put into this chest here and what you can also do here, maybe I've got another drawer in here, let's have a look. Yes, let's take an, an oak drawer here. Put the oak drawer down here, and the other items will come into here. But what's interesting is if I take this aluminium ingot here, all of them, and put it into this one, which is a compacting drawer, you'll see that it, what happens is that you can take it out of this compacting drops right away you can take out of here um, blocks ingots or nuggets and it's, well, you can simply you simply take one and you then have a nugget in your inventory so put it back again what you can also do if you right click on the controller here let's, have a look. let's just check what we've got in here we have at the moment we have 
This is one alumin ingot. Okay. So if I right click here, it should take those alumin ingots. Well, I thought it did. And if it would feed them into any of these items in here. It doesn't. Okay, let's do it another way. Let's take uh, some dirt. Do we have one one dirt in here? If I right click with it, if I have to right click with this one, oh yes, the dirt does disappear, and you'll find it's back in here. So let's have a look. 120 dirt. Let's take 64, 128. Right click, and sure enough, you get 128 back in again. So this is quite neat. So I could put the uh, I should be able to put the aluminium in ingots into here. So you don't want to go. And that should also be fed out. Oh, it doesn't seem to work. Maybe the maybe the compacting drawer is is not treated like the other ones. And this drawer controller actually has a range of twelve blocks. So I don't think I've reached that yet. Maybe it doesn't work through this one. I hope I've got Adamin in here before I say this. Yes. Okay. So that is more on the storage drawers. Of course, you can extend, uh, increase the capacity of these. We've seen that before. I don't have any capacity upgrades. I always do have a, here. I have one, which looks like a, an iron upgrade. So you can sort of right-click on this one, I think, and then it goes to a, an iron upgrade. So it's now draw times two, and the capacity doesn't tell you. But I showed you that before in the pre one of the previous videos. But I didn't show you the, the other bits on here. So you've got the storage controller and you've got the uh, slave storage controller. I could put the slave storage controller here at the end, for example. And that just allows me to extend this beyond there. And as you can hear, there's some mobs in the background from the mob grinding. Okay. What I, I said I was going to do is probably convert this room and use it for some applied logistics. I don't really know applied logistics very well yet, but it's always a time to learn. Isn't it? What else did I want to show you? Uh, I suppose I better get up to another quarry. It doesn't seem to be working yet, but maybe. Ah, it's digging quite a lot of cobblestone. So that means it'll probably be digging up uh, some obsidian. Have I got any blood with me? Okay, so I wanted to show you some more about the Varger as well. The Varger is quite powerful. Let's go Let's go to the quarry. It's probably the best place. And get some blood first of all. I think it's in one of these chests up here. Here we are. So I've got four buckets of blood. I should leave that in there, won't I? And we shall go to... The nether portal. Up we go. Out we come, and the quarry is up here and along here. I haven't got the jetpack on, I'll put the jetpack on. Oops, we just avoid them. A lot of a uh, Hellfish. And you see there's quite a lot of um, lava here, so we've got to deal with that one way or another. So, I suppose one way is to put a, some blood down here. Let's have a look. Control zero. Set doing something, probably not what I wanted to do. Right, here let's go and pick up this lava here, it looks like a lava block. In fact there looks like quite a few lava, ah here it is. Let's go and pick up this source block here. Probably deal with most of the lava up here actually. And in fact, yes let's just do that. Oh, 
Nice. What am I doing? Right, and here's obviously another source block. Let's put some. Uh, what have I got in me? What have I got on me here? Let's be over here in case of go to the water. To the blood, I mean. Have I got something here? Yes, that will do. Let's put this down here. Wood. Because I can always put some wood on this source block over here, of course. Get to range, which is about now. Yes. Let's put some blood on it as well. That's quite a noise. And I can see another source block here which we can pick up with this bucket of course. So let's see what we've got going on here. Another one over here by the looks of it. Okay, so let's go and put some more wood down here. Maybe it's too high. Oh, it should be okay. Okay. Nearly done now. Let's take this one. like the last couple are over here so what have I got here too many hellfish to land <laughs> we don't want to do that and die do we no. so let's have a look what have I got here do the same thing I think we'll put down the bucket of Block of wood down here. Keep clicking until it gets to it. And then we have the empty bucket for this next one, which must be oh, somewhere here. That's like this one here. Did I get it? That's another way to simply do it, so put, it, put one bucket down and pick it up again. Seems to be efficient. It's like there's two source blocks here though. I oh, know. Just the one. Alright. Of course the hellfish are now going to do the lemmings trick. One more block. We can do the same with I think. Yes. It takes a few minutes to do this, but not very long. That's it, the quarry should carry on working now. Filling up with lots of blood. So it should simply not care about any more. I also saw when I was doing my last video, I'd left a capacitor bank up here. But I wasn't sure why. I think it was to charge something up, but I suppose that's probably a good idea to take it back with me now. it for the nether for today let's go down back home I mean, oh, that's interesting where is it gone to there we are
what I'm also going to do is improve. Oh, yes, all right. I always want to show you. Last thing. Let's go down to the mine bottom here. It's not really the mine bottom, but it's just a, a low location. I'll show you the effectiveness of the, um, the Vajra. It's n it's quite expensive to use in terms of in terms of power. It uses around about three thousand EU per hit. But if you can find the if I can find any obsidian, it just cuts through obsidian as though there's nothing there. And maybe we're not in the right place. It's been a while since I've been down here. And it has two modes. Well, there's a massive, great big slime. Let's deal with him, shall we? Looks well, good to get a few slime balls. Never know when we need some sticky pistons. Okay, let's actually. Oh. It's a bit strange. I can't find it. Let's, let's make, let's make some obsidian, shall we? Uh -huh. Looks like this looks like a block of obsidian here, underneath this water. So what I'm going to do? Is I, go, oh, I need to get the avatar back into my hot bar. It's got two modes. You've got a, a left click, which is an attack mode, and a right click, which is a, a silk touch mode. I think that's how it works. You see, I've got one cobblestone and one stone. I'll do that again just for demonstration purposes so we can get two of each. So, left click gives you a cobblestone, right click gives you a stone. So now we have two of each. But it's also really effective on things like uh, obsidian. One left click. Look how effective that is. Doesn't. Just one hit and it's gone. But I have to watch out because it does use quite a lot of the power. Let's say 95% at the moment. Oh, it's just all. So, okay. That's. I'm not sure what right clicking does. Let's have a look. Obsidian. Oops. I have to be useless. Out the way, though. So I hope you enjoyed that little demonstration of uh, the Vajra. As I say, it's rather expensive on on power, so you don't want to use it a lot. Until let's get back to base, and I'll say goodbye for now. Bye and bottom and front door. So, just a short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, bye for now.